this floor for being recognized as one of the best students in one of the best schools in the country. And it wasn't because I couldn't do the work, because I knew I could. You know, when I wanted to do well, I did. When I wanted to goof off, I didn't do well. It was just a matter of me getting a focus about what I did each and every day to give my best and give my all every single day that enabled me to turn the corner and achieve better grades to go on to the things that I've been able to do. So what's the first lesson I want to leave you with? You don't have to be brilliant to be successful. It helps. But ultimately, I know plenty of brilliant people along the way who didn't make it to the levels that I've made that because they never realized that you really have to work hard. And everyone can work hard. But not everyone can be brilliant. I've gone to Morehouse College, finished magna cum laude in my class, went to Duke University. I've been at the University of Illinois. I've gone to Northwestern, now I'm in Tulane. I've studied with some of the smartest people that this country has produced. And I've met only two people in my lifetime that I would consider brilliant. Two people on all those. Everyone else just works hard. And I promise you, that's the truth. And if you continue to work hard, you can do whatever you do. And it's funny because now that I'm a surgeon and I'm a doctor and I'm a chief of vascular surgery, everyone likes to say, you know, God, he's so smart. Well, you know, it's real funny. The harder I work, the smarter I become. Because that's really what happened. On this board out here, I was looking at some alumni who finished in Sherwood Middle. And they listed a lot of things about being successful and the things you need to do to get your grade grade. You need to look at them and read them because they're all true. Because success is not for the common person. 90% of it is showing up on time, looking somebody in the eye, giving them a firm handshake, saying yes sir or yes ma'am, no sir, no ma'am. That's 90% of it. If you can master that right there, you're already in it again. You are. Because unfortunately, not many of our kids are doing it. The other 5% is what? Doing what you're there to do, doing it well doing your best at every given opportunity, whatever that may be. It doesn't matter what it is. But people will see you if you do those things. People will see you giving your best effort in those things that you choose to do, whatever it is. And people will help you become whatever it is you want to be. People will help you along the way. People help me along the way. Because even though I wasn't getting good grades, I kind of mastered those first two things. And then eventually when I decided to kick it in and work hard, like I knew I should have been, people just came out of woodworks to say, come here, son, you need to do this. You need to go to this school. You need to take this class. Those are called mentors. No one makes it completely on their own. Not many people here are going to reinvent the wheel, because there's no need to. You're going to make the wheel that we've made better and faster and stronger and shinier. But you've got to do those two things first, to be able to prepare yourselves to have people come in.